Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Sonic Colors. Uh, but now we should be going to the Asteroid Coaster, but unfortunately, Logan has not recovered from the ER, and uh, Matt's checking on the, up on him to be sure, so join me, Steve, and Jordy as we go to the Sonic Simulator. The, pretty much the bonus in the mode of Sonic Colors, which has you, has you and a, and a buddy, if you so choose, going through, um, multiple zones worth in order to get the seven Chaos Emeralds that somehow hijacked themselves into the plot. Yeah. Goodness, look at him! What's the limiter for again? I think the limiter is for um, how fast you can go in these stages. I mean, I guess if you turn it off, you just go so so fast, but you also kind of lose control over yourself. Ah. Uh, you have a little nice 8-bit-esque remixes of the main theme. And a red ball behind you. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that red... That Weird-looking red ball. Actually, if you press a certain button, you can actually switch to the uh, second secondary playable Sonic, which is basically, well, Red Hot Sonic. <laughs> uh, oh, by the totally way, not, just... totally not to be confused. Totally not to be confused with the with uh, with the com with the fan base community's favorite Red Hot Sonic. Oh, I guess. Goodness. By the way, a little bit of trivia for the more hardcore Sonic fans. Actually, first off, what's the point of that heart again? I think it's just her, it's just I think it just adds to your score. Okay, but yeah, interesting bit of trivia for the more hardcore Sonic fans. Take very heavy note at the level design in pretty much all the Sonic World levels. They might seem pretty familiar for the more classic fans. Hmm. How so, Steve? Um, all of them, or at least the first act of all of them, are ripped straight from Sonic 1. Like, that was the layout for Green Hill Zone 1, and then act, and then world, the second one's for uh, Marble Zone 1, and so on and so forth. Interesting. I never really made that connection up until now. But, um, yeah, starting off, um, you do have access to the very first seven, um, stages, uh, Act 1. Mm -hmm. Um, as you collect all the red rings throughout the game, you actually unlock additional levels, and, um, once you clear all of them, you practically get the all seven Chaos Emeralds and can turn into Super Sonic. Now, don't worry, this doesn't... Don't worry, they're not they're not tied to some random, um, last ending kind of bullshit. It's primarily just a means to, uh, turn into supersonic at your leisure. I like how they made a... The 3DS version, no, it is mandatory. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was about to say, I kind of like how they made six-bit versions of the, uh, the level music that we were playing previously. Like, this one's from Sweet Mountain. Mm -hmm. They pretty much have remixes from all the stages, including the last one, which we'll get to later. Yep. Mm -hmm. So hopefully people don't it's mind actually kind of funny thing. Well, yeah. It is kind of weird that they decided to bring that and bring that in so early, but then again, it's not like you'll know where exactly it's tied to. Mm -hmm. Your first yeah. time, anyway. Yeah. So, for those of here that have played Sonic Colors, and I assume I'm just talking to you two schmucks, uh, what are your, what was, what was your, what's your overall opinion on the Sonic Simulator portion of Sonic Colors? Um, I'll say until Sonic Mania came out because those look pretty good. I would argue these are probably the most tolerable special stages we had in the series. Um, uh, I guess you're right. I mean, granted, I wouldn't. I guess I would. Okay, I guess in hindsight, these really are special stages because you do get chaos emeralds from them after beating a certain amount of stages. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's weird though because you don't exactly get the chaos emerald in themselves. You just like the like you get a little emerald um, light that lights up once you got once you got them all, and once they're all lit up, then you can turn to supersonic. So yeah, I don't know. That's kind of weird. Hmm. I just think there are special stages in that sense of you have to go through them to get the chaos emeralds. That is true. Though honestly, if I'm gonna pick Sonic special stages outside of the one in Mania, I still have a soft spot for the one in CD, despite how finicky it can be at times. Mm -hmm. I do know that the I do know that the taxman port the taxman port is supposed to make that a little bit more tolerable for people. Yes, it is. Though I though funny enough, I think I may have mentioned this in an earlier commentary. I remember playing Taxman's version for the very first time years ago, and I was so disoriented when I was playing the special stages. Like I don't remember. This feels so awkwardly silk, silky smooth. What the hell is this? I'm not used to control that actually works. I'm not used to the smoothness, but yeah, it, it was weird because I think I would play the hell of a lot of the um, original version through emulator, so I was kind of used to that. And then once I played that, I was like, oh wow, this is so weird, but then I got used to it. Yeah. Hmm. Um, how about you, Jordan? Have you ever played CD before? CD? 
Yes, as in Sonic CD. Yeah, Sonic CD. No, I have not, actually. I mean, did I ever try it once for the Mega Collection? I don't I don't know, but... Uh, it's not on the Me the regular Mega Collection. It was on the Gems Collection. Oh, I was thinking of the Mega Collection Plus. No, it wasn't in Plus. Then... No, I can't say that I have. And honestly... I was not really that interested in the Sonic Simulator. Like, I think I tried it maybe once or twice, but it just... Something about it just didn't really appeal to me. The fact that it's... The fact that there's so oh many boy. blocks on the screen, and that's all there is? That, and when it comes to video games, I'm more interested in, like, the story modes than extras, like, you know, these. Unless it's required. Mm, fair enough. Well, in this case, it isn't. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I'm one of the I don't I don't ugh, I can't talk today. I'm sorry. Um, I I don't know if I'm one of the only people who's not cared much about this special stage, quote unquote. But yeah, I I, I kind of didn't care for it. I know something. I know it's something that a lot of people don't really uh, gawk about often when it comes to Sonic Colors. I mean. They usually just talk about either the writing or just the wisps in general. Like, mm -hmm. the Sonic Simulator is like the last thing they ever bring up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, personally speaking, I don't think it's a bad, it's a bad idea. It's just that, well, there's not much else to them. 1.5. 1.5. Oh, we got a buddy? Yep. Now we're, I'm going to let the CPU take control of the second player. Or at least I assume that's what it's supposed to do. I think that's what it does, Let's yeah. See. Okay, I guess not. I think you have to huh. activate Honestly, it first. I'm just Yeah, I probably should. Like, I don't even know how you're supposed to activate it. Like, actually, you know what? I think I know what it is. Um, I was about to say, I think I know what it is. I think it might be like the colors equivalent of the co-star from the Galaxy games. Probably. So it's essentially it's essentially like if you're it's essentially a take turns mechanic, which yeah, that's kind of lame. I guess. Didn't you kind of do that already in one player mode? What do you mean? Why are you bouncing on the backwards springs? It's sending you backwards! Because my homing attack just loves it so much. <laughs> I don't okay, know. This, I... Is, this game works in this game works in such weird ways. <laughs> and also, I was gonna make a get a room you two joke, but it, it would have failed. <laughs> it would have failed because I wasn't really saying a whole lot at the time. But yeah, listen closely. We have like a lovely um, video gamey remix of Plan Wisp, which I guess some people would argue is a better classic remix than the actual classic remix from Generations. Uh, you know what? I mean, I think I may have already said this in the Generations comedy, but that one did a uh, commentary, but that one did uh, grow on me after a while, especially when you think 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 into it. Like, yeah, this technically would be a bad future remix. I also, yeah, I agree. I honestly well, really careful. like the remix by itself. Like, I can see where the hate comes from, but I personally don't. Yeah, I think people were just really expecting something akin to, like, the original song, but with actual Genesis synth, or something along those lines. Yeah. Well, you can say that for, like, a lot of remixes, like, despite, regardless of how good they sound, they don't really sound like the actual, you know, use of the Sega sound card, or... I don't know. I, I'm trying to make sense, but I'm not quite sure if I do. Probably for the best, because... Probably because the... Probably for the best, because Junsuno can't use that thing worth a, worth a damn. <laughs> yeah, episode two kind of proves that. Well, episode one more so, but... <laughs> I didn't know you could do that! <laughs> he got a hit on the head with a spiky coconut! I, th I thought they established that Sonic was a pineapple. Or at least Boom did. <laughs> a pineapple? Yeah, I remember one episode Eggman called him a spiky blue pineapple. I don't remember that! What are it's you one of the newer this? episodes. Well, it... It was also in. The, it was also in the episode with the tomato sauce. Yeah, that's it. I missed it. Why did I miss it? I'm so upset now. <laughs> well, don't be. Just go out. Go out and watch it. It's actually a pretty decent episode. Yeah, I do remember. It has probably. I know Logan mentioned it was like one of his favorite moments for Boom. It's like I don't want it to go. Over my, I don't want it to go to my head. Otherwise, I'd just be like that Sonic guy. Like, what is he doing nowadays anyway? Which is sad, I think he liked it so much just because of how freaking true it was. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, not to say Sonic's a bad character and everything, but when you stop and think about it, for the past couple of years, Eggman's kind of been stealing the show. He has. He's kind of. Yes. Yeah, it's like I'm trying and to he's think. He's good like, at it. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm trying to think how early that would have started. Like, would you say that started what as early as what? Oh my god! <laughs> what is this? Will you be my Valentine? <laughs> oh, that's what it's done. Okay. It's this. <laughs> But weird. my hearts, but my hearts are made of real chocolate. What color is my heart? But yeah, just going back to the whole thing with Eggman and the games. Ah, uh, I don't see a hot sire. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, would you say that started about as early as Unleashed with the whole Eggman stealing the show thing? Uh, yeah, relatively. And he and hell, it got to a point where um, when people, I mean, one of the Hang things on, that people right brought back. up when reviewing. All right. What you were saying? Honestly, I was just gonna say, like, once it got to Sonic Lost World, people argued that uh, Eggman was the main protagonist of that of that whole game. Not even so much Sonic, which is kind of a shame, because again, I see where they were going with the whole arc between him and Tails, but at the, just yeah, Eggman had the more more interesting lines in that whole thing. Like, yeah. it, especially one of the more vulgar ones. It's like, I'll get fat from eating you eating your black hearts. You you worthless Eggman wannabes! That was pretty, you know, edgy. It was kind. Of, oh, and and then and then the one after it's like, as it's like Orba's like, Sire, your hand. As long as I can still strangle Lizetti, my hands are fine. I was like, damn. You're Not for nothing. That's. I mean, say what you will about that game script. I mean, it. I'll give it credit for getting away with some very. Um, adult, adult, um, dialogue. Oh, oh, no, or not so much dialogue, but more so manic. Don't, don't get me I wrong, I was actually impressed with... I was about yes. to say just another line, it's like... If Tails is dead, can I be your sidekick? I'm standing right here, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was That was funny. classic. Anyways, uh, I was about to say... What was I saying again? Oh, right, 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 oh. right the writing. I, I was... Say what you will, but... When I first saw the cutscenes, and this was before I even got the game, I was actually impressed by, you know, the amount of dialogue. Like, the. Uh, uh, I can't speak! Oop. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, I know what you're trying to say. You're, you're amazed with what they got away with. Yeah. I am so sorry. Oh, in that case, no, I'm so sorry that you're so pathetic that you don't have anything better to do with your life. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, that one was kind of. That one was harsh. And also, and that was actually one point where Eggman literally, literally compared Egg, or, or Sonic compared Eggman's plan to straight up genocide, which, yeah, pretty much was genocide. I'm a complicated yeah. man. Yes, you are. But you know what? That's what the fan base likes, apparently. <laughs> yep, whoop. I don't know what I was doing there. You might want to get up there. Well, I'm sorry, right but the Sonic Simulator still has a few bugs in it. I'll have them all ready by Sonic. By the next Sonic game. Or the one after that. Or the one after that. Honestly, I'll just get back to you on that. Hey, <laughs> today, man, you're never gonna call us. <laughs> Why would I call you? You're never gonna call us. <laughs> Ouch. That's gotta, that's gotta sting. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what did he say? I said, Why would I call you? You're not my type. I'm an evil doctor, I don't date furries. Excuse you, I <laughs> I am not a furry. You know, you know, Eggman, that's kinda of kind of a moot point considering the fact you're the only human in on this de devil damn planet. <laughs> counting or not counting Sonic <laughs> X. What do you think? <laughs> oh, oh you're gonna play oh, yeah. yourself. Oh my god. Might as well. It's, it's the last Look thing I have you. left. You're in abomination! Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And it sucks too, because I'm use I'm pretty much using an older me, uh, older me. That well, because it's 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 hard to believe that the that the uh, Wii U and Switch actually gave you more options for uh, for your me's to a point where it kind of makes it kind of makes customization hard in the Wii on the in the Wii's um me maker. Yeah, I know you. Uh, yeah, it's like I know you can do some interesting stuff if you're like really creative with it. But yeah, the one for like the Switch and 3DS is a lot more accessible. Hey man, for the last time, I'm not your. I am not your. T you are not my type. 
In fact, the fans would like it if I don't have a type. Well, some fans. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say, <coughs> ships. <coughs> yeah. But I don't like sailing. <laughs> that is true, I mean, there was that one episode of Sonic X where he really wanted off that pleasure cruise. And then all of a sudden, like, nah, I changed my mind. I'll relax for a bit. It's like, I love that. At that it's point, like, I think he... Uh, it's like, I'm not sure if it's ahead. the dub or the original one, but I think at oh, one no. point he was willing to flirt with Amy just to find a way off. <laughs> yes, he was. <laughs> You would think the, oh, you would think a way to get off is just to taunt her until she until she gets her hammer out and just flings him off into the stratosphere. And, it's, yeah. and then you just see that it's like socks all freedom. Wait, where am I going to land? Into the water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true. So I didn't really think that far far ahead. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That is our last stage we'll be showing off of the Sonic Simulator, and that's the last we'll be seeing of the Sonic Simulator. Sorry, Lee, sorry, no Chaos Emerald run today. But that yeah. said, um, hopefully by the next part, um, Logan will be Logan will be all rested up, and um, he and Matt will be ready to join us back for the Asteroid Coaster. Till next time, everybody. Bye. Bye. I'm going to go bleach myself from the nightmare fuel.